Mitakiepi, my very beloved relatives, especially my dear, dear, beloved brother, Lee Brown, Dr. Lee Brown. Brother, as we promised and as we discussed, I'm here at Kadua. Kadua is the mother village of the Kadua people, sometimes known as Salagi, sometimes known as Cherokee. But this is the mother village. All your relatives, all your lineage comes right from here. In fact, I talk to different tribal historians and the different names of your family members. And it's very interesting. They're all known, many are known as great potters. Great potters. And so uh, you're a great potter. So I know where your pottery gifts come from. And uh, they didn't explain to me why you used to meet me in Pac-Man. I don't know what that gift was about, but anyway, uh, that's where I am, right here. So all those relatives here, all over Mother Earth, right here in this very place, you're all your ancestors, the Kadua people, right here, this place. It's been recently returned to our relatives who are now called the Eastern Cherokee. But these are the relatives that all up in here, all around here, uh, in caves, you know, head back as, and watch their relatives be marched away on the Trail of Tears. There's the ones that stayed hidden as much as they could. And, you know, think about this. These are all relatives. You know, we sometimes may have disagreements between ourselves, but these are relatives. Can you imagine? Families torn apart, some going here, leaving, some having to stay and wanting to stay and protect this land. It's who knows, secretly behind the scenes, what the plan was of the Creator. What was really this plan? Because here now, you see great prosperity. The Salagi, the people of this land, are rising as they are everywhere on Mother Earth. And it was so amazing to me to see how just last week I was in uh, Aotearoa, and how the mounds, and this is just what's left of this huge mound. You're talking about a place here where you can imagine 3,500 people here at least. This is a thriving place along the river right down here. In fact, they have the stomp grounds right down this way. They have a stomp tonight about 10 o'clock. So brother, I'm here. And so I want to do, first of all, is I want to uh, have each of your relatives' names read. And as they're being read throughout the reading, I'm going to be offering tobacco for them all. And for all the relatives, as well as all the Kadua relatives that came from this very place. So if you are Kadua or Salagi or Cherokee, this is offered for you as well. For our unity, our strength of all nations and all tribes of Mother Earth. Moy Toy, Rebecca. Narcissa Mankiller, Henry Brewer, son of Rebecca Brewer, Stalking Turkey, Blue Holly, Cornstalk, Jacob Sula Fox, Quatsi. Christian Place, Gayasi Hatsula Brock, Rebecca Howard, Eliza Cherokee, Locha, Aniwaki Moitoi, Judith Howard, Letty Hatchet. Julia Slusher Howard, Warjack Howard, Five Killer, 
Sarah Roberts. Moses Payne. Nancy Rucker. <laughs> so, brother, uh, it's been a long journey here, but it's been a good journey. And I think that, you know, we just came from New Zealand. And of course, this happened where these relatives were all killed while they were praying there in Christ Church. And it's, you know, as we know, the hurt of one is the hurt of all. And how long is this going to continue? We're going to kill you, you kill us, we kill you. This is going nowhere but down here. It's time to wake up and understand there's one human family. The prior unity and oneness of the human family. And the hurt of one is the hurt of all. And the honor of one is the honor of all. Until this is understood, there will be no change in what's happening with climate change. There will be no peace until we understand this basic fundamental truth. There will be no justice as long as we look in the eyes of another human being and in some way feel better than or less than them. There's no way. The soul does not know division. The spirit does not know division. That's something of this temporal world. It is time to go beyond this temporal world and truly go to the sin, to the place that is our destiny as human beings, to understand that my first counsel is this. Possess a pure, kindly, and radiant heart that yours may be a sovereignty, ancient, imperishable, and everlasting. In me, Daki Epi, that's who we are. Sovereignties, ancient, imperishable, and everlasting. And so here I am, standing here. So honored here, brother, to stand here on this land of your ancestors, the land of great potters as yourself, the land of great thinkers as yourself, to be here on the land of the Kadua people, the mother village of all the Kadua people of what are called Salagi and who are known as Cherokee, all one right from here right this place. And from here they went to the east, the west, the north, and the south. And from this place they had to watch as their relatives walked the Trail of Tears. And I always remember this Johnny Cash film. And they say as they marched through that winter and they had their young people and elders dying as they walked along, along the way they kept singing over and over, Amazing Grace. Now tell me, in this day and age, how many people would be walking through and seeing their relatives die? Their loved ones, their mothers, their fathers, their sons, their grandchildren. And how many of us could go through those kind of things and sing Amazing Grace for month after month after month after month? They saw something, Mitakiepi, that we didn't see. They saw something much greater than this sacred place here. But it's a place of many sacred places. And they say these sacred places in our ancestors are closer than our closest vein. Closer than our closest vein. And just like the mother has the baby within the womb, the baby within the womb does not understand this world the baby is part of because it's veiled from this world. So are we in this earth suit, I call it. We are veiled as the baby's veiled Veiled in the mother's womb, we are veiled here in this world. We think this is all there is. There's even a heaven above the heaven, as our beloved Thai relatives say. No, we are something here in this experience of this plane of existence for only a brief time. As Crowfoot said, like the flash of a firefly on a warm summer night, or the breath of a buffalo on a cold day, or the shadows vanishing before the setting sun. He said, that's life. And that's life, as you know, brother. How many years 
that we've been going that sweat lodge together, talked together, sun danced, different places, visited for so many years, almost 50 years. And now, where are we? It seemed like an instant ago. But here we are, and we can see the prophecies being fulfilled. We can see everywhere all at once indigenous people and other people, the members of the human family, realizing they're also children of this Mother Earth and children of Father Sky. So it's a great day. It's a great day to live. It's a great day to arise. It's a great day to be thankful. And as my father said, son, if you can't be happy today, what day are you waiting for? Sister Lisa, I want to thank you so much for coming with me here. So this message to my brother and to other of our relatives there whose mother community is right here. And I want to thank you so much. And I look forward to having more visits. And so I'm going to be hug here. Thank you for all your beautiful prayers and songs and stories, Bill. It really means a lot to the healing of this this world and all the nations coming together in the human family. Well, you know, I'm just a mirror. You know, I always say that, you know, if there's qualities in me that you see, if you didn't have them, you couldn't see them in me. You know, if there's, if there's things I have to say that make sense to you, if you didn't already know them, they wouldn't make sense to you. So that's why we're just mirrors to each other. Sometimes that mirror is not too pleasant to look at. But I, you have a lovely mirror. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you so, so much. Because we see the Creator in one another. And that's the key, to see the Creator in one another. To be one. Yes. Not above or below, to be one. Yes.